What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing another ranking video and for today ranking video we're going to be doing all the Candyman films that have previously come out in preparation for the new one coming out later this month. There's three films in the universe so far so let's get down to this ranking. So we have three Candyman films in the universe so far. They definitely vary in degree for sure in terms of quality and all that kind of stuff. So, of course, there has to be a bottom one. And the bottom one for me, number three, is going to be Candyman Day of the Dead. This is actually the third film. came out in 1999. And it's just the one that they lost the vision, the creators, for this one. It's just mostly just a 90s slasher film. And that's not what Candyman is at all, like especially the first one. When they first set it up, it's more of a supernatural kind of horror film not a slasher film add to that we got some horrible actors and actresses in this film they just don't do this film any justice or help it at all the creators like i said all the vision all the stuff in this film is just all wrong there's a lot of subplots in this movie as well and just horrendous characters that are written bad that you don't like enjoy or want to follow or anything like that so this one just has a lot of things knocking on it plus a director who is just kind of like kind of a pervert for casting like our main actress who isn't that great of an actress and he puts every opportunity to just you know put her in a bathtub or stick her with a tank top or you know like a wife beater shirt with her you know boobs and nipples showing and everything so it's just kind of like out there you know like our director just they lost all the vision this one has no concise story or anything like that so that's why this one's sitting here at the bottom of the list number two is going to be Candyman: farewell to the flesh this is the sequel to the number two one the sequel and this one for sure is like i could appreciate the tone they were going for in this one it definitely has a more serious tone I like the setting in this one being that Louisiana setting. It has a cool vibe, especially for the Candyman story to help like set the atmosphere. And like I said, we also have a very just serious tone. I like where we're going with this one as we follow a teacher who is actually, we find out later in the film, she is related to Candyman. She's like a descendant of him. So it's just got like, you know, and this is the one where they introduce the mirror aspect where you can destroy him with like a mirror. And like if they destroy it, it's like the mirror that his lover had and his soul got trapped in back in the day. And this one has a lot of cool aspects of showing you the origins of Candyman. I really do like that stuff, like all the origin and the building on the lore of Candyman. I appreciate that. But like I said, this one is just a lot of subplot heavy for sure too as well. And it just doesn't have the focus like that first one. A very a lot of overuse of the theme as well. And it doesn't it loses effectiveness when you just keep using the theme over and over and over. So like I said, this one just fell flat as terms like this is still an average horror movie for me. Like I could still return to the second one, but it just fell flat in a lot of areas. They really tried to mimic and copy that first film and they didn't really hit the note or, at least, you know, hit the nail on the head. Like it just missed out on all the aspects of it. And now we're here at the top dog. The number one spot, of course, is going to be the original Candyman done by Clive Barker. It's actually based off a book. He wrote the story for this one, and it's based off his book, The Forbidden. Oh, man, introducing us to Tony Todd as the Candyman. This film is great. Like, this one, I think, actually has him in it the least as you know acting wise like in time on the screen but they use tony todd's presence so well in this first one and like i said the, the jump from this one the second one to this first one is just so huge like that second one's probably like a five out of ten for me and this one's like an 8.5 out of 10 this is a solid horror movie a very good slow burn film like it was a supernatural horror for sure and Virginia Madsen, she plays our main actress. Like, everybody in this film is just so much better. Like, all the actors, just the focus and the concise story in this one, it has, you could tell the direction. Like, the directors and writers had a true direction with this film, and you can definitely tell. That's why this one is by far miles ahead of the other two, you know what I mean? This is definitely kind of a crazy list because it varies in degree of, like, quality for sure throughout the films. And I think this first one just really nailed the vibe, you know, of Candyman. It, this is a series that I don't really think we needed a sequel, you know what I mean? This first one that nails the vibe, it fits it perfectly. And those other ones, like, they just missed out completely, you know. Really leaned heavily on the Tony Todd character of Candyman in those other two films. And just a lot of weird things, weird choices, subplot heavy. And this one, like I said, is more focused, a very tight niche story. Slow burn, very creepy, and everything in this film is more effective even the use of the theme 
Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my ranking for the Candyman films. This is just my list, my personal opinion. I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Share your list. Let me know what yours is. And are you excited for the new Candyman film? I am. I got some skepticisms a little bit. I'm a little bit worried about some of the things in the film, but I'm still anxious to see how they're gonna, how it's gonna turn out for sure. Especially with Jordan Peele as the producer. Like I want to see how how much influence he really did have on the film, or did he just let the director director and writers kind of go free and do what they wanted for it so don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for sure so you can stay up to date on all the content that i put out it definitely helps out the channel like i said i got a lot of other rankings movie reviews and all kinds of stuff that i do have a safe and happy day everyone peace out